Welcome and thanks for joining Crossfire website design for this fast and easy email configuration tutorial for Mozilla Thunderbird. You will find that Thunderbird email is very similar to Outlook without all the bells and whistles. It's much easier to use than Outlook Express. So let's get started. Open your browser window, navigate to www.mozilla.org slash en dash capital U.S. slash Thunderbird. And if that's too much, go to mozilla.org, search for Thunderbird, click on the first link, Mozilla Thunderbird. Then you'll see this view, and you can click on the big green button to get your free download. Thunderbird is a safe download from Mozilla Firefox. Now some browsers will ask you to save the executable file first, that's fine. If that's the case, go ahead and do that and then double click on it. Uh, it will bring up your next window so that you can run or open the executable file, whichever is provided as a choice for you. Then the installation wizard will take you through the setup and installation. Now once that is complete, and for that you just click next, 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 you can go ahead and do the regular installation, it'll do that just fine. Once that's complete, you're going to see one of two screens. If you see this screen, then simply cr click on create a new account to advance to the next and correct screen. And in this screen, uh, it's very self-explanatory. Enter your name, your email address, and your password. Be sure that the Remember Password box is checked, and then click Continue. In the Your Name box, that is the name that's going to appear next to your email in the To and From section. Thunderbird will think for just a minute while it's setting up your account and then on the next screen you'll need to choose POP3 if it's not already chosen and then click on manual configuration or config. If at any time during the process you see this security exception screen, simply click confirm security exception to proceed. You should now be at the account settings window. You can also navigate here from the tools menu. And here you'll see your email listed on the left hand side. Click on server settings. Now your server name and your username are provided to you by your webmaster. For a Crossfire website design, the server name is always name. So whatever your domain name is, if I was doing an email for myself, this test at crossfirewebsitedesign.com, then the server would be mail.crossfirewebsitedesign.com. The username is always your email with a plus sign instead of an at sign. Now let's click on composition and addressing. We want to choose start my reply above the quote. This is actually a quirky thing that Thunderbird is no, known for. They reply below the old message instead of above it. So sometimes if you don't correct this and you hit a reply, it's just going to look like you replied without putting any message in there. So change this to reply in the conventional fashion. And finally, let's check out the outgoing server settings to make sure that those are configured correctly. So go ahead and click on Outgoing Server SMPT. Highlight the server, uh, which in this case is the only one there, and then click Edit. Now, the description can be anything you want it to be um, or nothing at all. And all your needed information for this screen is also provided by your webmaster. For Crossfire website design, once again, the server name is always mail.domain name, in this case, mail.crossfirewebsitedesign.com. The port is always going to be the default 25. Connection security should be none. 
The authentication method should be password transmitted insecurely. And finally, the username is always going to be for Crossfire website design emails. And for all emails on our server, it will be your email instead of the at sign, substitute that for a plus sign. And once you enter all that information, click OK. And on the account settings screen, you can click OK again. If you happen to see this window when sending or receiving, especially for the first time, you may be asked to confirm your password. So simply enter your password, be sure the box use password manager to remember this password is checked, and then click OK. Now your account is set up. Great, congratulations. Your email address will appear on the left hand side of the screen. If you click on your inbox, then you will see what we're seeing here on the right hand side of the screen where your emails will list in the top half and the bottom half is your preview window. Your action buttons are in the center of the window enabling you to reply, forward, archive, send to junk or delete very quickly and easily. In the preview window here you see my email signature. We'll cover creating email signatures in a later video, but if you're in a hurry, go ahead and visit uh, mozillathunderbird.org, uh, their website for instructions, mozilla.org, and then search for Thunderbird and see how to add an uh, email signature to your email. So thank you for joining us for this tutorial on email configuration with Mozilla Thunderbird. We truly believe that knowledge is power and to that end we've created a great resource page on our website for you. Visit us at crossfirewebsitedesign.com. We offer more than just our services. We provide knowledge and information free. It has been my distinct pleasure to guide you today.